We've designed our game around headshots. Let's uh, put a steel wall in front of this guy's head. It's gonna take one headshot for Blackbeard to kill them, but it's gonna take four headshots for the opponent to kill you. The only utility that you bring is being a dick to the defenders. He is an absolute nightmare to fight against. Located a bomb. Locked for something? Four last operator standing. I told you! Over for them! I just shotgun this guy in the face. This game is so shit! On one hand, he's like a shield operator, and on another hand, he's a whole lot more dangerous. There are plenty of controversial operators in Rainbow Six Siege. All right, Ubisoft, we need to talk about Lion. You've designed an operator that can literally give your entire team wall hacks if used correctly. They buffed Ella's Scorpion. The first 16 shots now have lower recoil than it did previously. And uh, there's a lot of controversy around this. Ace is super oppressive. Melusi, I can tell you, Melusi is super oppressive. And there's nothing we can do about it. But despite having some stiff competition, Blackbeard and his once impenetrable face shield might just be the worst of them all. The reason why Blackbeard is as powerful as he is right now is that he can basically claim an entire room by himself with not really putting himself at any disadvantage whatsoever. Blackbeard was one of the first operators added to Siege after it launched back in May 2016. His initial kit included a mind-blowingly powerful 800 HP face shield. It basically neutralized headshots. And in a game where a quick headshot can make or break a round, Blackbeard's face shield proved to be a problem pretty quickly. We located a bomb. Locked for something? We're last operator standing. I told you! Over for them! Just think about it. In every first person shooter, you're trained to go for headshots as often as possible. They're usually one hit kills. And in Siege, where defenders are holding angles, they're usually holding them at the height of the enemy's head. But Blackbeard made that instinct a liability. Imagine this situation, you're holding an angle, Blackbeard turns the corner, you go for the headshot, you hit his shield, he shoots you and you die. The only reason you pick him is to get kills for yourself. It, you don't contribute to the siege gameplay whatsoever. You don't breach anything. You don't, you know, you don't use any utility to counter any other utility. Your only utility is to win gunfights. Blackbeard terrorized siege so much that players demanded a nerf, and Ubisoft listened. Balancing wise, his uh, pick ratio and win ratio was clearly show that he is very powerful. The following changes is meant to address two points. Blackbeard now has two shields and can cycle uh, them with a Q system of equipping and unequipping. So instead of one shield, he now has two. But however, the HP of the shields has been reduced from 800 to 150. So it's you can break the shield a lot easier and the shield dis durability is displayed in the UI. Of course, that meant that Blackbeard could still lock down angles more than once, and face-to-face -face engagements still usually went in his favor. The opposing team's skill didn't really matter. They could be the best aimers in the world, but headshots just didn't work. Blackbeard basically had an extra life every single round. So when I'm playing Blackbeard, what I'm trying to do is hold down lines of sight, use his rifle shield to my advantage, and I'm basically asking people to peek me. I'm hoping that people will peek me because of the rifle shield, I have an advantage and I should win that gunfight. And people who decided to main Blackbeard found other ways to exploit his nearly impenetrable headspace. If all you're exposing is your head, well that's protected by the shield and then the wall is protecting the rest of your body, so you basically become immortal. As a counter strategy, you could try to flank Blackbeard or fill him full of body shots but neither was particularly effective. Oh, two coming, two coming. Two flash them, flash them and I'll kill them. Oh, behind you, behind you. In the uh, uh, a bomb. She's dead. Just flash. One off. Smoke oh, is dead. Yeah. I'm gonna plant. Yeah, plant. I'm watching train. Oh, he was train. I got him. Nice round. Opinions of Blackbeard also varied across ranks. Copper players don't usually go for headshots anyway, but in the higher ranks, well, great players go for headshots as often as possible, and they found Blackbeard extremely 
frustrating. I just shotgun this guy in the face. This game is so shit! If I shotgun this guy point blank, let me kill him! In an attempt to make Blackbeard more balanced, Ubisoft tried all kinds of things. And now he's been nerfed so many times, he's commonly referred to as Nerfbeard because his shield was nerfed down to 60 hit points, his bullet damage was nerfed, and his aim down sight time was nerfed, which is basically cyberbullying by Ubisoft. Blackbeard could no longer just run and gun his way through a round with a riot shield on his face. All of a sudden, calling him OP was kind of inaccurate. And I feel like most of the operators that have been released, well, they have been overpowered when they're released. And then they are toned down a bit, and they're toned down a bit, and then eventually they're fine. In Blackbeard's case though, things were not fine. All those nerfs created a new host of issues. Has, has he been nerfed a lot? Yes. Is he a well-designed operator? Hell no. Players who were once accustomed to playing Blackbeard and doing whatever they wanted, now saw his mighty shield shatter in two shots. Blackbeard was nowhere near as broken as he used to be, but Ubisoft kept his speed and his armor at medium, which gave his mains a reason to call him underpowered. Slowly but surely, Blackbeard's shield, the entire core of his character, became irrelevant. All of a sudden, his entire identity as an operator was gone. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but it's worth pointing out that the, the shield is the only thing that differentiates Blackbeard from the other operators in the game. So basically, if the shield is now crap, then there is no point using Blackbeard. You may as well go and use near enough any other operator, Fermite, Thatcher, Sledge. Blackbeard doesn't have a lot of utility. And when his shields were broken, that made sense. But after the nerfs, it kind of meant that he wasn't worth picking. What it really seemed like Blackbeard needed was a rework, but what that rework should be or how it would affect player bases of different skill levels was a question just as divisive as the operator himself. We're having an issue where we have a quite a big split between the casual community and the competitive community, where the competitive community want big changes and they want them fast, and the casual community kind of want to have the fun of the game in another sense than we do. And it's not like Blackbeard isn't fun to play. Under the right circumstances, he is still a force to be reckoned with. You, you slap Blackbeard on a on a person with really good aim that already is winning a lot of their gunfights, and you're gonna have an absolute monster. But on the flip side, those right circumstances don't always present themselves. He's really good at windows, but other than that, I mean, his head shows most of the time, if you guys didn't know that. If you're not crouching, his head is showing, and it only takes a few bullets to even get through his shield. So very good at window play. He's very good whenever you're playing on windows, but other than that, he's not good at really anything else. Four years after his release, Blackbeard remains one of the most controversial operators in Siege history. Ubisoft keeps trying to find a middle ground. They don't want Blackbeard to be broken again, but they also don't want him to feel useless. Blackbeard is interesting because we learned so much from his ability. When he launched, he was one of the strongest overpowered operators we ever released. When, he, when he's fun to play against, he's overpowered as shit. Mm -hmm. And when he's unfun to play against, he's weak as shit. Yeah. That's how poor of a design he is. Whether you think Blackbeard is OP or useless these days, we can all agree on one thing. He's a perfect example of how important balance is to a competitive game, and how a lack of balance can bring chaos to the scene. Slowly but surely, it's like a bird here. That's never happened before. Never seen just a bird hang out at my window. Sorry, this is really distracting. Hello, bird. What's up? Do you wanna hang out? Talking about esports. How do you feel about esports, bird? What's your favorite, what's your favorite CSGO team, bird? Fucking doesn't give a shit.